Now let's get started on the things we can do on the website itself to improve security. Go ahead and install your Drupal 8 site and let's call it Padlock News Daily. Pause this video and come back when you're done with that. Once you have your site installed, the first thing you always want to do is check the site status at Reports and Status Report. So right off the bat, you especially want to keep an eye on this section, the status of your configuration files. Sometimes, depending on the server and depending on the way you may have installed the site, you might get a message here telling you that settings.php is writable and should not be. If we go to our file system, here's the root of our Drupal directory. This is our website that we're looking at. If we go into sites, default, we have our settings.php file. Look at my permissions. This is 444. If we open up this, no one has write permissions because the file should not be able to be changed. That can seriously mess things up. Sometimes during the installation process, you have to make it writable. Rather, the server can put in the correct information, especially your database contact information. And sometimes when you're done with that, you have to go back and manually remove the right permissions from this file so it can't be changed later. If you do that, you should be fine if you had an error message here. And as far as file permissions in general go, most of the files on the site, in most cases, I, I should say this varies from server to server. So depending on the way your server is set up, it may be different. If you're on shared hosting, in most cases, you're going to have 644 for files and 755 for directories. 644, we look at the permissions. This means it's readable. The user can write to it. In other words, we can write to the file. The server can write to the file. For directories, the permissions are the same, except they also have execute permissions, which simply means that you can open the folder and go into it. Drupal needs the ability to do that in order to use the files in these various folders. So that's a common message that you'll get upon installation of your site. Not always, but fairly frequently, again, depending on your server environment and your web host. You always want to make sure you take care of that so your settings.php file can't be altered because that can potentially break your site entirely.